goodness like uh, macaroons and granola and uh, nuts and seeds and superfoods they wrote their own book um, let's see oh and then on the other side they have fresh made juices and uh, none of that actually they don't make anything here this is like a pop-up so they have a central kitchen where they make it then it's just basically brought here and sold so the thing you want to remember is you want to try to get here earlier in the day they're gonna have a larger selection because if you come here later then if they sold out, they're not like replenishing because actually we just bought some of the things that they uh, don't have any more of. <laughs> so uh, the main part though here is the case and they got all the different um, uh, meals like lunches and salads and they have a lox and bagel. We got actually a, a kind of wrap earlier and, a, and a, um, tacos. They also have a, you know, different kinds of salads, pot thai salad, Mexican salad, quinoa salad, detox salad bowls. Wow, this is really loud. Uh, different kinds of salads, uh, kale, classic salad, and a Caesar salad. And then of course, then we get into like the little uh, mucilies, chia pots, and then uh, probably what they're known for is the unbaked, as the unbakery is the raw vegan desserts. Now, these are all raw. Some of them do contain honey, so you will want to ask if that is a concern for you. Sometimes they're uh, labeled, but you can see they have like a Snickers bar for $8, double fudge brownie, apple cream cobbler, caramel slices, all kinds of decadent raw food desserts, you know, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty amazing, all this stuff here. I, uh, I think what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and order, and uh, we're gonna come back at you once we got the order, probably when we're somebody else, somewhere else to eat, because it's actually quite loud in here and really small, and uh, we'll be reviewing the food for you guys and let you guys know how it is. So we walked a short walk, actually, just to the hotel, down the ways, actually really nice, it's on the ocean, can't really show you that because the lighting's bad that direction. Um, but we're ready to eat now, so we'll explain to you guys what we got. And these, some of these were the last ones they actually had. So this is the uh, uh, breakfast tacos right here. It basically like, looks like two uh, leaves of lettuce with some um, uh, guacamole or some kind of sauce on there with a bunch of vegetables, including microgreens. So that actually looks pretty good, and I'm actually quite hungry. Next, we got the lox and the bagel. So it looks like you get a nice side salad with uh, you know, some kind of dehydrated bread thing on the bottom and some uh, maybe cheese sauce, some shredded carrots, onion, cucumbers, and some sprouts on the top. And then finally we got the veggie wrap. This one kind of like looks like the best deal to me. It's a nice uh, you know, dehydrated wrap with all kinds of vegetables and a nice uh, nut cheese sauce in there. Then of course for dessert, we got a um, double chocolate raw cookie right here. We got a Snickers bar right here in the middle and then we finally got an apple cobbler right here on the end. You know, it pretty much seemed to me that that place, like people were coming in when we were there and actually most of them were not buying like the healthy stuff, the salads and the actual raw food stuff. They're actually just buying desserts, which hey, if you're gonna eat more raw food desserts, that's great, but I wanna encourage people to focus on their fruits and vegetables, especially the leafy green vegetables, they're the healthiest foods on the planet. Anyways, let's go ahead and eat, man. I'm super hungry. I think first we're gonna go ahead and uh, maybe uh, take a bite of the salad. Let's start crunching on that. Basically, the salad looks kind of wilted, like it's been sitting a while. I don't know, I think there's a little bit of dressing, maybe it's some kind of oil uh, dressing. So, to give you guys an idea what the salad tasted like, basically it's just some greens with a little bit of shredded carrot, mostly greens, a tad bit of oil, and some salt in there. It was alright. Let's go ahead and uh, dig into the lox and bagel thing here. So this is pretty much what half of it looks like. It looks like a, basically a nut-based um, uh, bagel. Mm. It's actually quite good. It's actually, for being like maybe nut based, it's actually kind of light and airy. Has a really good flavor, and just like the tad of vegetables on top really make this. So far, um, I like this the best, but it's the first thing I've had actually. 
Next, we're gonna go ahead and try the tacos here. And we're just gonna basically uh, take one out and uh, try to grab the ends and wrap it up. All right, so the question I have is that these are supposed to be raw and there's some beans in there. So if these beans have actually been cooked and then fermented, they could be considered alive. But these beans to me, they taste cooked. So I'm no longer a raw foodist because <laughs> I ate a little bird unbakery that has cooked beans in their raw tacos. That's all right, it's only one taco. Hmm. Despite having some cooked beans in there, this thing's amazing. It's quite delicious. All right, so for the last thing, uh, food item, we're gonna go ahead and go for this wrap here and get the, first we're gonna try the, the sauce and the wrap. All right, in this wrap here, like, I mean, I'm a picky raw foodist. I've been eating raw for 23 years now, so I've been around the block a little bit and I was told everything there is raw. <laughs> and now this one actually has a, looks like cooked quinoa in there. <laughs> so now I'm instantly a cooked foodist because I tried to eat at this raw food restaurant. That being said, you know, cooked quinoa and, you know, cooked beans, they're still some of the healthiest foods out there. So I'm not really tripping out too much. I don't normally eat these kind of things. And if I was to eat quinoa, you know, you could sprout them and then eat them. Or on the beans, actually, I would uh, first soak them, sprout them, cook them, and then uh, ferment them. <laughs> but uh, these ones, uh, they were just probably straight up cooked. Whoa, man, it's quite windy. All right, so now we're gonna try some of this uh, dipping sauce. Hopefully it actually is just nuts and something else blended in there. Hmm. I mean, there's really lots of quinoa in here and I'd rather have like more vegetables. I mean, it's all right, it's a, it's a, it's a decent wrap. It looked the best but it's definitely not tasting that way to me. So last, we're gonna go ahead and try some of the desserts here for you guys. Uh, first, we're gonna try the uh, double chocolate cookie. I don't know, is this really raw or is it cooked? There's other cooked things and they said it was raw, but... I mean, the cookie's not too interesting. They use some rolled oats in there, which may, may not be entirely raw either, because oats are um, basically uh, heat processed in the process of making the rolled oats. I mean, it's all right. I think we paid a couple, like four, five bucks for it. I definitely wouldn't get that again. Next, we're gonna try the Snickers bar. And this is what I really wanted to get, actually. It looked amazing. This was seven bucks. Mmm. Oh man, look at that on the inside. It's totally amazing. I'd say that's definitely the best dessert so far. If you go there, you gotta get one. Totally decadent. Not that I recommend you guys eat chocolate on any kind of regular basis. But for a nice treat when I'm making you guys a video and I'm out on uh, literally vacation, I think it's something uh, fun to indulge in once in a while. Finally, we're gonna go ahead and try this apple cobbler here. Um, I also wanted this one. This one looked like a good value. It has like an, lots of uh, hopefully apples in there and nuts and sauce. Mm. Wow, there's actually fresh kind of apples in there. I thought it'd be a lot more dehydrated with a lot more like meat to it or nuts. And actually, it's, it's pretty light with a lot of apples, nice and cinnamon with a really, really like creamy, like frosting. It's actually quite good for like actually using fresh apples. I'm quite impressed. So we just got done finishing off all the food that you guys saw earlier. As you guys can see, all the containers are empty and there's some actually some sauce we actually didn't end up eating. But all the food that you guys saw was like $65 in New Zealand dollars. Luckily, since uh, I'm from the US, our dollars are stronger than New Zealand dollars. So that means I really only spent $47 and change for all this food. Well, the food that we had earlier because <laughs> is gone now. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys my review on it and what I learned after actually eating it, uh, actually with my girlfriend who will you know, be sharing her um, opinions on it in a little bit. So the first thing I want to say is that, you know, <clears throat> I was surprised that actually where there were cooked beans and in my opinion, cooked quinoa in there. Um, it should have been labeled. And I think that's the biggest challenge I have. Not that that was actually that, that it's not all raw, but that it wasn't labeled. Cause I mean, come on, to have a fully raw restaurant in this day and age when people like don't even know what raw foods is, it's kind of rare. And then to have it be sustainable and have actually people buy stuff and keep buying and be able to make a profit and keep it running so, you know, I don't really fault them for having 
cooked beans or quinoa in their raw stuff, but it should be labeled to let people know. Cause I mean, most people probably going in there, you know, it's way better for them to eat at that place than like a McDonald's or fast food joint down the street. But if you're truly into raw foods, which granted there's not many people into it, super hardcore, um, they should be able to know and you don't just go in and the, the, the person working like behind the counter says, oh yeah, everything's raw here. And, you know, just like nonchalantly like, so then I'm like, I believe them. And then I bought stuff that wasn't raw. Now, maybe when I was younger, I'd be kind of like, oh my God, I'm pissed. I'm like, Didn't he, I like, I, they sold me cooked stuff and it's supposed to be raw. And I'd go and return it or some crap, but it's like, that's too much stress. And I want to encourage you guys, especially when you're on vacation and you're trying to spend time with your significant other and have a good time. It's not the biggest deal that I ate some cooked beans or some cooked quinoa that's in my raw food dishes that I thought were all raw. And it, just like people just need to chill out. So like, you know, I enjoyed it. It was still good. Will I be going back there? No, because I don't like the fact that they didn't actually label it. But I'm not tripping that I was in there. And you know, it's kind of fun to eat something a little bit different that I don't normally eat on, on any kind of regular basis or actually eat at all. It's kind of fun to eat. Um, yeah, so that's what I think about that. But so getting back to the food, like after eating everything, I'm gonna have to say that uh, definitely the, the little breakfast taco things, like those were definitely the best. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> oh, the other thing, you'll hear me <clears throat> going like that a lot. I got mucus, like pretty hardcore, meaning that's my body telling me that something in the food was not good. I don't know exactly what it was, because if they are putting cooked beans and quinoa in there, what else are they doing? What else are they cutting corners with? You know, I thought this little sauce here, was like some kind of nut sauce earlier. If I could even get it open right there. But like the consistency of this, it's like a, just a, like a little bit too consistent and it's a little bit too gloopy. Like if it's like nut cheese or nut dressing, it's not gonna be like this. This has, in my opinion, some kind of emulsifier. And I ate a couple bites of it and I'm like, it doesn't really taste like it's raw. And I asked my girlfriend who has eaten something like veganaise, you know, more recent. Actually, I never had veganaise in my life unless somebody snuck it into something that I ate. But as she's like, it tastes kind of like veganaise or maybe some kind of ranch dressing. That was like out of a bottle that they put in here and just uh, put in. So like, it's, it's like pretty highly processed. Was I upset about that? No, when I figured out this, I stopped eating it because I don't want to eat highly processed things either. And you know, that's just what the place does. But once again, I mean, if they're going to serve it, that's, that's great because still it's healthier than like what most people are eating, but they need to label it like, hey, we use vegan A's or canned dressing. It's not homemade because I asked them like, do you make everything fresh? And she's like, oh yeah, we make everything fresh. And in one of the, when one of the salads, they had tempeh. So I'm like, do you guys make the tempeh? And like, she obviously she didn't know that she's like, I think they make a lot of stuff at the kitchen where they do that. But like to make tempeh, that's a whole nother set of processes that I, in my opinion, they're not going to be doing. So they're probably just buying packaged tempeh that's been heat pasteurized and then put in the salad. Hey, that's still super healthy, um, but that's just what it is. So I'm not really sure about this dressing either. So, so oh, and then on the taco thing, the breakfast taco that I liked or whatever it was, um, there's also this kind of sauce, which I think was might've been also some vegan sauce in there too. So, I mean, whatever, I'm not tripping. I probably won't be going back there. And in the end, I think that really there needs to be just more accountability and they need to label exactly what's in there. So for people that are concerned about it, I mean, we go to places in LA, some of the best raw food restaurants in the world that I've visited so far that you could actually trust. And they, they you know, disclose the ingredients on what you're actually buying. So you could know what you're eating. And I think that's a big challenge and problem of today. Like people are not knowing what they eat and they don't really care. And if something's put in front of them, it looks good, it tastes good, they're gonna eat it. And without questioning, when there could be really harmful and bad ingredients that are not gonna serve you or your life and provide you the health outcome that you want in the future. And especially a place that's being, you know, billed as raw and vegan, you know, should be more concerned and more upfront with what they're doing. So whether you're the owner of this place here or you own your other, another raw food restaurant, you know, please just be honest with your labeling and just let people know what's in there. It's like labeling GMO foods, right? If something's GMO, I don't really care. I'm, I, I like to know that it's labeled and I'm not gonna buy it, of course, but then the, the consumer has a choice if they wanna buy it or not. The desserts were actually decent. I did like the Snickers bar the most, but some of the um, you know raw food treats we get back in the States are definitely better, like the Caraco Berkeley bars. Those are some of my favorite um, ones, probably better than the Snickers here. I like the apple cobbler thing because it had fresh apples, but it wasn't quite as sweet and it was a bit too liquidy for me, for my taste and the cookie. I thought it was dry and I thought, I thought that I've tasted some like real chocolate chips in there. 
that were like kind of melted down. So I don't even know if that was really dehydrated or cooked or not. I'm just kind of skeptical of that place now. But uh, so yeah, so now I'm gonna go ahead and rate this. I rate everything from zero to five apples. I I've never rated anything at five. I basically compare when I eat out to like what I would make at home. So I'm like a really hard reviewer. So don't be surprised if I rate this place pretty low because <laughs> uh, the labeling, <coughs> this, the uh, discrepancies and I actually got a lot of mucus, <coughs> which is not a good sign. I'm gonna have to rate them like two and a half apples. I mean, some of the food tasted all right. I mean, I was, kind of disappointed that they're actually cooked beans and cooked quinoa in there I mean the value the value is a decent value for like prices from raw food places in, in, in the states and stuff but a lot of the stuff just was like mediocre it wasn't anything super good and I mean I personally would rather go to the farmers market you know the farmers market or go to the, a local health food store here and just like get some organic cherries for $26.99 a kilo <laughs> all right so uh, I guess let, next let's hear from my girlfriend and see what, what she thought about the, uh, the restaurant. All right, Lauren, so you had actually exactly half of all the food I bought today for us. And uh, what did you think? Because I know you probably thought a little bit differently than I do because I'm a little more hardcore. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, definitely really liked uh, the restaurant. I mean, I'm pretty laid back and the food was really good. It was really fresh. It had really good flavors. I, I would go back. Um, yeah, I liked it. Uh, what was your favorite dish? I like the tacos. That was my favorite. That was so good. Um, just lots of depths of flavor. Then the next thing I liked was the the wrap. Um, yeah, it was just really good flavors. This. Yeah, I mean, my branch and you know, um, and then the, and then the bagel was the next entree that I liked. That was the food proof, and then I really loved all the desserts. They were really, really good desserts. So yeah, I really like this place. I would to stay in business. <laughs> And yeah, I would go back. So I would give this place, if I were to rate it, um, oh, I don't know, maybe like a, I want to give it a two. Maybe a two point three. If I'm being harsh, <laughs> but I really liked it, and um, I would go back. So there you have it. You just heard from Lauren on her opinions on the restaurant, which are totally different than mine. And that's all right. I still love her, even if we have differences of opinions. We're totally two different people, and we always think about different, a lot of different things differently. And it's just about accepting other people. And uh, you know, another thing that's really cool about uh, today is that every day of our trip so far, Lauren actually has had a stomach ache or upset stomach from something she's eaten, whether it's just something really <clears throat> normal or not. And so at least today after this meal, she didn't get a stomach ache. So actually that's huge. I'm glad she doesn't have a stomach ache today. And you know, even if the food was a bit more expensive and I didn't like it so much, she's uh, you know, happy. So I'm happy, right? <laughs> happy life, happy wife. Um, the other thing I wanted to say actually is, you know, no matter where you guys are at, you know, something may be good, you know, or not as good for you, right? So for me, like eating that meal was not good for me. I'm <clears throat> still got mucus. I'm trying to clear my throat every couple minutes here. But for her, you know, she feels fine afterwards. And actually, matter of fact, she doesn't have a stomach ache. So I always want you guys to think about the, you know, motto that I like to say is good, better, best. Like, you know, on the way to the restaurant today, we saw places or people eating like McDonald's. And I'd love for them to go to this restaurant to, to eat like healthy, plant-based, whole food, you know, that uh, food that's, it's, that's what it's centered around, right? And a lot of, lots of raw foods in there. The same token, you know, um, for many people, this is probably like one of the best things you guys could ever eat in your lives. And it, and it tastes, I mean, my girlfriend loved it. Like for me, it just like it was a bit maybe overly processed and not quite as clean and not as many vegetables. And like the salad was it was OK. It should have like a, you know, like an, in my opinion, nut based dressing, not like any kind of oil dressing. It was also a little bit kind of wilted, maybe not quite as fresh as I'm used to harvesting stuff in my um, you know, garden. So I always encourage places to have the highest quality and freshest produce and use as much fresh fruits and vegetables in the recipes as possible. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I mean, if you guys live in Auckland, in New Zealand, it's definitely worth, you know, checking out. I would go to their other location, I think in Pomeroy or something, Pomeroy, 
uh, district where actually they make all the food there. So you could probably ask more questions. They probably have a bigger selection than just the pop-up here in the, in the Britain Mart uh, bus stop area downtown. Um, yeah, but I think that's pretty much it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed this uh, restaurant review, hey, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Um, I'll make sure to do more of them. You know, sometimes it's a little bit hard when I travel to you know do a restaurant view when I'm especially hanging out with my girlfriend because she doesn't really. Um, well, I'd be making restaurant views. She just wants to hang out and eat with me and have a fun time and not have to like worry about filming and all this other stuff. So yeah, give me a thumbs up. That'll motivate me to hopefully keep the pressure on and and get it to um, allow me to do these videos, uh, restaurant views, to let you guys know how the food around the world when I eat uh, tastes. Also, be sure to check out my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. Over uh, 500 episodes at this time on this channel, teaching you guys all aspects on how to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables, as well as having the most raw food restaurant reviews of anybody on YouTube that I'm aware of. Also, be sure to uh, click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on any of my new and upcoming episodes. I've come out about every uh, five to seven days. You never know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. Also, be sure to share this video with somebody else. If somebody's going on New Zealand that you know, somebody else that lives in New Zealand, share this video with them so they can learn about this uh, cool raw food cafe that we ate at today. So uh, with that, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best.